Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Raka Kodash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a very brief lesson uh, speaking on an encounter uh, I had with a young Jake, you know, earlier today, you know, while I was at the... Uh, now, I was at the plantation, but I had taken off, um, you know, to go bust a couple of moves. I had to run a few errands real quick. But you know, needless to say, um, I was at a specific location I had to go to, but I had to grab something from my trunk. So, you know, so I'm in, I'm in the trunk of my in my of my, uh, of my truck, and I'm grabbing, looking for something. I'm looking for what I'm trying to find. And there was a young Jake that walked by. Right, He walks by. I'm, I'm kind of watching him with my peripheral. You know how, you know, we got to stay circumspect, so... Even though it may seem like it may have seemed as if I wasn't watching him, but I was. You know, I had seen him coming. I, you know, felt him walk by, and I was using the peripheral to see him walk on by, you know. And um, I see him stop, and he starts walking up to me. So I look back. I'm like, "Hey, what's up, brother?" And he's like, "Hey, sir, is there anything I can do for you? Um, you know, for a couple of dollars? You need help with anything? You know, do you need me to help you? Can I help you do something? Whatever you're doing, you know, can I help you?" You know, can I give you a hand, you know, with whatever you need for a couple of bucks? And I'm like, I'm like, nah, brother, I'm good, brother. I'm like, I appreciate you. I was like, but I'm all set. I'm like, yo, have a good one, bro. Then he walks off. He's walking off. And I'm like, I realized I had a, a couple of dollars in my wallet. I usually don't carry cash. You know, you know how nowadays, you know, we got plastic, you know. So needless to say, I end up having a couple of loose dollars on me. And I had seven dollars total, a five dollar bill. And two dollar and um two two uh loose dollars, right? Which is seven dollars, which goes into completion, which is the spirit, you know. But needless to say, you know, I told him, I said, "Yo, bro," and he comes back. And I'm like, "Yo," I'm like, "Yo, take this." I gave him two dollars, right? And I'm like, he's walking off. I'm like, "All right, bro, have a good." He's like, "Thank you," whatever. He walks off, and I'm like, "You know what?" I meditate real quick as he's walking away. I'm like, "Let me just give him the seven. Let me just give him everything." You know what I mean? I'm like, let me just give him. The, let me just give him the seven dollars. So I'm like, hey, bro, hold on for one second. And I grab the five, you know, and give it to him. And he's like, oh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Now, this is a younger Jake. This brother had to be about, he's got to be like in his early 20s, maybe around 23, you know? And the brother looked as if he was going through some things, man. You know, and, you know, the spirit led me to uh, kind of speak to him for a moment before. I call, as, when, they, when I called him back over to, to give him the five, you know, I'm like, yeah, brother. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, no problem. He was thanking me. I'm like, no problem, brother. I'm like, listen, I'm like, I'm like, you're an Israelite, man. I could see, well, I was looking to his eyes. I knew he was a Jake, you know? And I'm like, yo, bro, I'm like, you're an Israelite, man. I'm like, what are you, Dominican? And he, so I'm like, what are you, so-called Dominican? He's like, yeah, yeah, my dad's, Dem I'm Dominican. He didn't say his dad, but he said, I'm Dominican. He didn't know his dad, but he was like, I'm Dominican. I believe he also said that um, he has either Jamaican or Haitian in him as well. So he was a pure Jake. Pure Jake, <laughs> right? So I'm like, oh, so I'm like, what's your dad? He's like, oh, I don't know my dad. I'm like, oh, all right, dad. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, hey, through the spirit, hey, I can. you're an Israelite, brother. I'm like, hey, this is why you're going through these things, man. You know, this is why you're being, you know, afflicted. You know, because you, know, you had a key out of cardboard, a uh, piece of cardboard on him. Like something was written on it, but it was flipped inside. I know he was panhandling. You know, he was definitely out there panhandling, you know, you could tell, you know, but needless to say, I'm like, brother, listen, you got to get yourself together. You know, I was like, bro, you need to, you need to, you need to return back to your power. I'm like, bro, you're an Israelite. I'm like, you need to return back to your power. His name is not God. His name's not Jesus Christ. I had told him, I'm like, God is just a title and Jesus Christ is an idol. <laughs> Those are not the real names of our power. I said, the real names of our power is Yahweh. OK, who people ignorantly call God. And I said his, his the, the name of his, his, his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. 
right? And then he closes his eyes. He just closes his eyes for a minute, right? And I'm like, I'm talking to him. I'm like, that's the name, brother. I'm like, those are the true names. You need to return back to your power. You need to repent. This is why you're being afflicted. You know, this is why you're out here. The spirit helped on me. I'm like, this is why you're out here panhandling, man. And you out here begging for money. I'm like, because you're going off. You're sinning against your power. You know, you, 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 you've been going off. You have gone off and you're still going off. I was like, you need to get right with your power. You need to repent. You need to turn back and get yourself together. If you pray in those names, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, them spirits, you got spirits on you. I said, them, them wicked spirits that are on you, they'll flee. You see? You know, whatever at whatever addiction you're hooked on right now, whatever whether it be drugs or alcohol, it, the Lord can purify you from that, man. You're being afflicted because you're going off. You're sinning against your power. Yo, tell me how this brother started crying, man. Yo, Jake started crying, man. And then, the, yo, bro, it hit my spirit, Akiyam. I, mean, I was, I was, I was like, wow, like, I, but the spirit was on me. The spirit had hopped on me. <laughs> and I was, I was, I was, I was letting, I, hey, I was, I was being, you know, scripture says to be all things to all men, you know, but because, so because his spirit was so, um, humble, he had a beautiful spirit, humble spirit. And I was humble for the most part, but my spirit, the way I am, you know, I, you know, I just, I, I'm, I come off austere, you know, I just, I have a, that's just the way I am, you know, but I, I wasn't disrespectful, but I'm just, I kind of just say what's on my mind, you know? I was just telling him what it was, you know? And this brother started crying. And he's like, I can feel something. He was like, I can feel something in my back. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, when you told me, when you said the names to me, you know, I could feel something go through my body. I'm like, brother, listen. I'm like, how about Shinyal Shai is trying to, get, trying to speak to you, man? I was like, this is not a, a coincidence that you ended up walking by one of his servants, okay? All, go, all men, uh, I, I told him, I said, uh, um, man's goings are of the Lord. As it's written, I said, it's not a coincidence that you walked by me just, just now, man. And you, you stopped and we, and we started getting into a dialect. You know, I was like, I'm on my clock kit right now. I was like, you know what I mean? You see me in this attire, this work attire. I was, I was telling him, I'm like, bro, listen, I serve the Lord in all truth, spirit and sincerity, man. You know, and then he started crying more. Like he wasn't weeping, crying, but the tears just started fluttering down his face. You know, like the spirit was hitting him. I was like, bro, this is not a coincidence that you cross paths with one of the Lord's servants, man. I said, listen, you got to get right. You got to get right, brother. You got to get, you got to clean up. Hey, it's, we're at the end. And he was like, oh, yeah. He was like, yeah, we're at the end of the end, right? Yo, the brother realizes we're at the end. See, our people know that something's coming. <laughs> they don't, our people know, even our people in the most destitute states, they know that, that something's coming. They know that we're at the end of this thing. You see, they just don't know where to turn because they haven't seen that light, you know? But that, that surprised me. This brother's like, oh, uh, yeah, we're at the end of the end. I'm like, right, brother, we're at the end of this thing, man. Our power's about to come through and make it happen. Yo, a lot of people are going to die, bro. I said, I said, brother, you don't want to be visited by a crew messenger. You want to get yourself together. Stop playing. Stop, stop, stop playing, brother. Get right. You know, pray in those names. Pray to those names. Pray to those names. Pray in that name. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? And get yourself together. Get yourself a Bible. You know? Get a Bible. I was like, you, you are, and he had faith. He had like a, he had, he had faith. That's, and that's another key sign. You know? Because the words I was speaking, I was filtering everything through the scriptures. You know, and the, the brother started crying. You know, the brother has faith. You know, he believed in the words that he believed in the report, you know, and he couldn't thank me enough. He shook my hand. I grabbed him and brought him in and gave him a little hug. You know, the brother needed that, you know, brother was crying, you know, and that he, he, he could. And the one thing that stood out to me the most was the brother could say the names perfectly. The first time he ever, he's ever heard them. He said, Yahweh. And he said, Yahweh shy. And the brother closed his eyes, man, and then started crying. You see? <sighs> and hey, I felt it through the spirit as well. It was a beautiful thing. It was a, it was a, it was a faith, it was a faith booster for me personally, you know. And how you know it gives credence to how important you know the work that we're doing is, man. This is important. This is critical work, man. You know, this is why we always have to be apt to teach. 
you know? I could have just been in my one of my modes and just blew them off, told them, you know what I mean? Let them keep moving, you know? But the spirit, it's all through the spirit. <laughs> this is all through the spirit. The spirit, may, you know? Again, all man's going to the Lord. We know this. You know, that's Aki Amanak to know. You know, it was all through the spirit. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai wanted that brother to know this information. He wanted to reach him, you know? And it's beautiful. I feel, I feel that I feel that through the spirit that that's the case. The Lord wanted to reach this, uh, reach this brother with his word, you know? So, yeah, I let the brother go, you know, he, and before he left, he said, you know, may Yahweh and Yahweh Shai uh, uh, guide us and protect us. I said, brother, that's beautiful. I'm like, yeah, may Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai guide us and protect us, brother. I said, do what you got to do. Get yourself together. Pray in those names, man. I said, I'm going to let you go, brother. Get yourself together. I said, Shalom. That means peace. And the brother said, hey. I need that right now. I'm like, hey, brother, that's beautiful. Shalom, brother. Hey, Shalom, Lord willing, you will get that. Pray in those names. And I let the brother go. It was beautiful. It was beautiful, you know? And it really did, um, again, build my faith. It built up my faith, man. You know, because you can see our people there. They're, 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 we see our people that through out here, you know? And there's still a lot of our people that need to get this word. You know, hey, this is how the kingdom is being hurled in. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is using the ministry of the prophets, man, to bring this thing in. If Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai wants to, we can just wake up all the elect with, by, with a snap of a finger. But no, he's using the ministry of the prophets, man. You see, and that's Akiyama. It's, it's, it's very well likely, man, that we're part of that, that process. Apparently, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai got his spirit on us for a reason, man. This is amazing. This is beautiful. You see, so through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, I wanted to get into a few, a uh, few scriptures, you know, and Lord willing, this to be a faith booster to you, Akiyam and Akwath as well, you know. But let's go here, let's go to Isaiah real quick and Salakia for the long, you know, intro. I just wanted to share that with you, Akiyam and Akwath. I wanted to make it as short as possible, but you know, it was a beautiful dialogue that we had, me and that brother. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40, Lord willing, he repents, and Lord willing, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, answers his prayers. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40, and verse 1, and it reads, Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? <laughs> Why is it comfort ye? Why is it? Because we're at the end of this thing, man. We're at the end of this captivity. We're at the end of being at the bottom of the bottom with nothing under us, man. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is turning our captivity right before our eyes, just like he said he would do. Let's go here real quick. Let me get a quick preset. The Wadi Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, right? Lamentations 4 and verse 22, and it reads. I would start at verse 21, but I want to get straight to the point, right? The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. See that? Zion is what? In the Paleo-Hebrew, to Zion, which means what? Monument or memorial, which we are to our power. Remember, you Akiyam and Akwath know. I'm singing to the choir. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is our power and we are his people. And he will not forsake his people, man. Pursuing the first Samuel, man. He will not forsake his people for his great namesake, man. Yahweh Shai is coming for us, man. And he's gunning for these heathen. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, first and foremost, man. He will no more carry thee away into captivity, see? We're at the end of this thing. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. Right? These so-called white people, man. He will discover thy sins. And they've, and they, they, they've greatly, they've greatly offended our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. It's well documented. History testifies against this demon, man. See that? But guess what? Redemption is coming, man. Yahweh Shai is coming to get us. Let's go back. Back in Isaiah 40 and verse 2. And it reads, 
Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. And remember, Jerusalem's a people before it's a place. And cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. And this is what us Akiyama doing, man, that are on the front line, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down. See, we're piping unto you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but you don't, you're not dancing. Right? We were mourning unto you, man, but you haven't lamented. Only the elect will, though. The elect will. You wicked two-thirds so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans won't. And that's another great sign that that brother could be part of the hopeful elect. When that brother heard the names and he got the report, the brother started crying. He started lamenting. He started mourning. And that's a beautiful thing, man. And that's what the Lord's looking for. He's looking for a contrite spirit. You know, that brother was very contrite. You know, they didn't buck up at all. Had a beautiful, humble spirit on him, man. Lord willing, Lord willing, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai deals with that brother and cleans him up. All right, let's continue on. Let me read this from the top. Speak ye comfortably, Isaiah 40 and 2. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare, her warfare is accomplished and her iniquity is pardoned. See, for she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all of her for, so like for all her sins. And what sin? Transgression of the law. You see, and we've all, we're all guilty of that. You know, oh, and also remind me, the brother has said, um, because I had told him to repent and get, you know, turn back to your power. And he was, he was kind of reluctant because of a situation. He had mentioned how, um, you know, what if you did something? He was kind of like beating around the bush. He was like, oh, what if it was, you know, what if, what if it was either you or him? You know, so, hey, the brother may have did something real crazy, but I needless to say, I had told him, like, oh, bro, listen, I'm like, all man's goings are of the Lord, you know? I'm like, hey, for whatever reason, the Lord has you uh, <laughs> speaking to one of his servants right now, man. And I was like, remember, and I quoted Isaiah 55. I said, uh, I said, uh, the Lord will um, forgive you, man. He'll, he, he's, 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 um... Uh, but he will abundantly pardon you. You see, he's he's full of mercy, man. He's long suffering. He he will, hey, you he will forgive you, hey, if you if you do things the right way. You know, and matter of fact, let's go to Isaiah fifty five. I told the brother, yeah, you gotta repent, man. You gotta repent. I was stressing that. I told him, I said, hey, you don't want to get visited by that cruel messenger, man. I was like, this might be your last warning. I said, who knows? This might be the last time, <laughs> you know? Right now, the Lord is trying to reach out to you. He's reaching out his hand to you right now, telling you to come back to him. I Don't pull away that to shoulder. Don't pull away at the shoulder, right? The book of Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6, and it reads, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And how is the Lord near? Through his servants, the prophets. You see? His mouthpiece. Pursuant to um, Hosea 12, Hebrews 1, and Acts, not Acts, Salakia. Amos 3 and 7. Amos 3 and 6, rather. You see? Matter of fact, let's go get that to prove that point. The book of Amos chapter 3. In verse 7, Salaki, Abel 7, Surely the Lord power would do nothing, but he re revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. See, the servants, the true servants of the Lord, they know the will of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. And I, I also told the brother, through the terror of the Lord, you know, we persuade men. You know, I told that brother, I said, hey, you better repent. Don't play. Don't play around. Right, let me go back. Isaiah 55 and 6 again, and it reads, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Right, repent. Repent. You know, that brother was uh, really, really uh, stuck on the fact that he had did some stuff and he, he was feeling as if he couldn't be forgiven. No, brother, repent, I was telling him. Because if you repent, 
<laughs> Upon the return of Yahweh Shai, what's going to happen? Let me go here. Let's go here real quick. Let me grab one more precept real quick to make this point. The book of Acts chapter 3. <coughs> Salakia. In verse 19, it reads, Repent ye therefore and be converted. See? Be converted to righteousness, man. Walk this path of righteousness to the best of your ability. All right? Seek Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's face, man. Do what's right. Hate evil and love the good, right? That your sins may be blotted out. This is what we hope for. Because again, we're all guilty of coming short. <laughs> you see, we all sin, man. And we hope and pray that our sins are blotted out. You got to, it starts with repenting though. You got to repent. Or you don't stand a chance, man, for that to be. Right? That your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, man. You don't want to get caught up in that destruction. Let's, can, let's get a little bit more. And he shall sing Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And remember, he's bringing a sword with him, right? Which is, <laughs> hey, which goes into his death and destruction, man. Yahweh Shai is not coming to play around. And that's what you people are going to find out. Yahweh Shai is not coming back to play. It's going to be horrific, man. The return of the Lord is darkness, man, and not light. You people are going to find that out the highway. This is why we push repentance, man. And he shall send Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which before was preached unto you. You see? And he's the only way. Yahweh Shai is the only way. Okay, he's our mediator. We have no access to the Father. If Yahweh Shai says, uh, if Yahweh Shai don't give you the go, then you're through. Let's, let's continue on in Isaiah 55 and 7, and it reads, Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Right, but you got to become a new creature in this thing. And it's going to come naturally if the Spirit truly does rest upon you. You will become a new creature. The way you live will change. Your mindset will change. Your habits will change. Okay? The people you have around you will change. All that will change. Because ultimately, this word entering into you, okay, will change you, man. If the Holy Spirit truly rests upon you. But we know that our people <laughs> are known for resisting the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And the phone chimed in. Right, let's continue on. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy on him. And this is what we all need. We all need that mercy, man. And we all need those sure mercies of David. Hey, if we're, if we're the elect, guess what? We'll receive them. And to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. See? Yahweh Ba Shem Shai will abundantly pardon, man. <laughs> but it starts with repenting and returning to the Lord and believing in Yahweh Shai. Okay? Believing in the resurrection. Believing in the precious blood of Ahamashiach. Because again, he is the door. You see, he's the door. Let's close out right here. First Corinthians chapter 15. In the last two verses, and it reads, verse 57, and it reads, First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 57, and it reads, But thanks be to Yahweh, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, man. This is how we're going to get the victory. We went, in, we went into a lesson uh, yesterday through the Spirit and Paul, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, going into how if we're the elect, hey, we're going to get the victory by this testimony and first and foremost by the precious blood of our Savior, man. And here's a precept right here that proves that, man. I believe I put this scripture in the description box. Let's continue on. Hey, Yahweh, Shai is critical in this whole thing of ours, man. And we don't have the son, we don't got the father. 
Let's continue on. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 58, and it reads, Therefore, my beloved, right, the house of David, the house of Dawada, that's the beloved. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, man. You see, and hey, that, literally, as far as myself is concerned, that was a test for me today. You know, because I was on the move. You know, I, I had things to do, man. Hey, but nothing's more important than doing the work of the Lord. And I had to peel back that disguise, <laughs> uh, you know, for the sake of doing this work. But again, it was all through the spirit, you know. I judged the spirit by the spirit and I felt his spirit it was it was, you know, it was I, I felt it, it was, you know, the, the Holy Spirit gave me the go. You know. And to come to find out, hey, that brother seems that brother seems like he's meat for repentance, man. You know, Abba Rathazah he is. Let's continue on. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, see? What we're doing is not gonna re it's not gonna be uh, a non-return for what we're doing. No, we're gonna be greatly rewarded, man. Hey, beyond our wildest dreams. I can sit here and try to uh, come up with an uh, <laughs> uh, idea of what we're going to receive and, you know, this, that, and the third, and it still is not going to measure up to what, ya to what Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai has in store, okay, for his men. You know, immortality alone is just like, <laughs> you catch Jake with his mouth open, back teeth showing, man. Just to wrap your mind around that, the fact that you're going to be immortal. You know? But there's so much more that's going to come with this uh, with this reward, man. Hey, and Yahweh Shah is going to have his the rewards with him, man. You see? Hey, this is not in vain. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is doing a magnificent thing. You know? He's working a work. He's working a work, man. You know, we just got to trust in the process. You know, but, you know, Lord willing, this was uplifting to you, Aki Aminakwav. I just wanted to share this account, um, or rather, uh, this dialogue I had, you know, with a young Jake earlier today, you know, you know, while I was on the move in Babylon. You know, Lord willing, it was edifying and, you know, uplifting, you know, to you, Aki Am and Akwaf. Lord willing, it was a faith booster. You know, it was a faith booster for me. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak with us. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kal Halaliam La Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Shalom.